Hello everyone, Mark here. Welcome to Friendship Shaving. I hope you're well. You won't believe what's been going on here. I've actually managed to crack my sink. Unbelievable start to the video. <laughs> so I've got a PAA shave for you today. A Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements shave. And I'll be using their prismatic razor which has taken me a little time to get used to been using it for a couple of weeks now it's got a nice short handle um, a little bit wider than the normal it's got a lovely scalloped top which is a, a copy of the Kirby Beard and Company razor uh, quite a big blade exposure as you can see we're using that today. As I say, it has taken me a little while to get used to it, and I'll explain more as we go along. I'll be using the PAA Switchback 400 with the Duro Synthetic Knot, and I'll also be using a the last of my soap sample of High Jump 47, and. Uh, Oh, it's just a stunning scent on this. It's lovely and sweet. It's just right up my street. I can't explain what it smells of, but I like it very much. I've just got that squashed into my little bowl here. So I'll wet my brush. And we'll get going. And I think I'm just going to do a bowl lather for a change today. Um, this is the perfect brush for it, I find. It fits very nicely in my bowl. It's long enough that I don't get that chink chink sound as it goes around the edge of the bowl. Let's we'll see if we can work this up a bit. Oh, I'm all a fluster. I have a piece of card that I put up at the window to block the light for the video. And it came unstuck and fell down and knocked one of my old spice mugs off the window. And that fell a good, a good three foot into my basin. And it's cracked the basin, but thank goodness the old spice mug was all right. You know, getting loads of lather here. I think that might just do. Properly lots in this little bottle. Of course, it is a nod to the rather famous rubber set 400. As you gents probably know, it comes with two knots, and they are both excellent, I find. shave from this high jump 47. I've, uh, as I say, only had a little sample but I've, I've enjoyed it very much and I've eked it out as long as I could but finally this is the last of it. Good. 
Now guys, as I've said, this is a copy of a Kirby Beard and Company razor. And they all had this lovely scalloped tops on the originals. An original razor from the Kirby Beard and Company would have been about 1928, that sort of period. They all had the full safety bar uh, a good 10 years before any of the Gillettes took that on. I found a fantastic article on Badger and Blade by a user called Moshulu and I will put a link to that in the um, comment section below because it, it, it's fantastic. A really really good article. The uh, Kirby Beard and Company is not a joke, it was a company set up by a Roger Kirby and a George Beard and originally they produced pins and needles and uh, hairpins. I don't know if you've ever heard of a Kirby grip. It's uh, a little grip sort of shape like that that just, you know, slots into your hair or, you know, more commonly in girls' hair. Um, my sister wore them for years when she was a little girl. And they went on to produce razors and the razors were made by the La Roche company in France which were already established and a very good manufacturer of um, safety razors at that time. I think it's really good that uh, PAA are putting out these these nice copies of an, ori of an original vintage razor at a very good price. This was I think it was twenty four pounds. I'm using a Derby blade today. I forgot to say. Um, I haven't used the Derby blade for ages and uh, I just thought I'd try it with this. I've tried it with a few blades and the Derby blade I've got in there, this is its third use. You know I only get maybe about four uses out of a Derby but it fits quite nicely in this razor. I haven't used the Derby blade for a long time, I'm just trying to think, but I've always quite liked the Derby blade. Now I've got a little spot here I've got to be careful with because I took that right off in the week. Now because of the blade exposure on this razor you'd think it would be quite aggressive and especially as it is in the style of the old razors the head cap and the guard isn't curved as much as the, perhaps the more modern ones but um, it has got a little bit of aggressiveness to it but it's not as aggressive as you might think. I've struggled a little bit to get the angle but as I say I've been using it for over a week now and I, I've just got it and it is a really nice razor. I'm really starting to enjoy it. It's a nice light razor so it's very easily manoeuvrable. Do you know, I can't believe I cracked the sink. A 
Have you had any mishaps like that whilst you've been shaving? It's the first time I've ever cracked a sink in my life. <laughs> Thank goodness my old spice mug was alright. to enjoy this soap. Do you know I've been shaving a while now and I'm starting to find some soaps that I really really like and this is this High Jump 47. I don't even know if it's still made anymore but it's certainly a nice soap. I enjoy it very much. I'd just like to give a shout out today, if I may, to Russell Barton, who is the outlaw shaver and a friend of mine. Started to make his own soaps and uh, he's way out in Marlow, Oklahoma. And uh, I enjoy watching his videos. He's made a couple of videos now and I enjoy them very much. So you'll find a link somewhere on my site and uh, perhaps you might enjoy them too. The original razors, if you look on that link I'll give, they are practically identical to this. And uh, if they shave as well as this one does, they would certainly have been a very, very nice razor. I find it a little bit strange that it took me so long to work out the angle. It just goes to show you eh, that uh, you can't take anything for granted. I think this has got what I call Bulldog handle it is that slightly shorter, slightly wider handle. It's lovely, it's got a lovely balance to it. But uh, I used to have a Gillette Bulldog when I first started shaving, and I could just never get on with it. And perhaps now having a little bit of difficulty getting the angle right on this one. Perhaps that was the problem I was having with the Gillette Bulldog all along. It was most probably me and not the razor. I found it to be incredibly aggressive. And uh, well I'd like to get one again sometime and go back just to see if it really was.
think you can hear, can't you? That's just taking the hair right off. The hair is just popping. And I think that will do. Do you know when I shave on the video, this is one of those times where it's gone really, really quickly. So I apologise if it's a little bit shorter than usual. I can't tell at the moment, but uh, it turns out that way. It was not intentional. But that prismatic is a very nice razor, very easy to use and a good shave. And I just put a little bit of my Allen block on. No real issues at all here. A little bit of sting just in the odd place, but nothing. Nothing really. So today I think I'm just going to put on A little bit of Parasso Green. I like the Parasso Green as you may have noticed. I just find it to be very fresh. The scent's not overpowering which I like. Just altogether a very nice product. Good for your skin. And there we are chaps, we're all done for another week. And the star of the show today is undoubtedly the Prismatic. I, I'm enjoying this now. Um, yeah, very nice razor. Very good. So that is my little PAA shave. I hope that was acceptable to you. Um, that's it fellas. What I was going to say then has just gone right out of my head. So we'll leave it at that and I'll see you on the flip side. Take care of yourselves now. Bye bye.